On today's show, new iPhones, a Surface event, a new design for the PlayStation Vita, the Vita TV, and thoughts on the Galaxy Gear. It's Buffalo Bulletin time! Hello Internet and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin where we recap five major stories from our site technobuffalo.com a couple of times a week. If you're interested in reading more about any story we talk about on the show, check the description for the links or you can click on the graphics in every story if you have annotations available. I'm Ashley Eskeva and I'm back from IFA in Berlin. Here are your top stories. Apple held their annual iPhone event today and announced two phones we kind of already knew a whole lot about the iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5S. The 5C will come in five colorful variants and will replace the iPhone 5, while the 5S has a new A7 chip, Touch ID, and an improved camera. Now you'll be able to pick up either device starting September 20th, and we have all the details on our site. Microsoft mailed out invitations to a new event where they're expected to unveil new surfaces on the 23rd of September. No word yet on device sizes that we might be seeing since we've heard rumors of maybe a smaller surface, but it's likely we'll see at least one of these devices running Windows 8.1. Oh, if anything, I'm just hoping they've realized how ridiculous the Surface RT is and go forward with just full Windows products from here on out. Sony dominated gaming news yesterday with their first announcement introducing us to an updated PlayStation Vita. The new model replaces the 5-inch OLED screen with an LCD screen. It's 15% lighter, 20% thinner, and will be available in five colorful options. The new Vita launches on October 10th in Japan and will cost just shy of 19,000 yen. Unfortunately, there aren't any official plans at this point to launch anywhere else in the world, so that's a bummer. Sony also announced a bit of a surprise product via the PlayStation Vita TV. It's a little console that plugs into your TV's HDMI port and allows you to play Vita and available PSP and PS1 games. That's about 1,300 games at launch, which is pretty solid, and you'll also be able to stream via services like Hulu. The launch date is November 14th in Japan and will cost about $95 US. But like the new Vita, here's the problem. There's no official word on other countries getting Vita TV, but we're still intrigued and we'll keep our fingers crossed that it'll make its way across the globe. And our wild card for the week comes from our own Brandon Russell, who has a lot of things to say about the Samsung Galaxy Gear. Well, mostly he believes the Samsung watch isn't the future wearable tech and gives a lengthy rant about why he feels that way. Lots of folks arguing in the comments about this one on both sides, so it's definitely Worth checking out, regardless of how you feel about the Galaxy Gear. That's the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, a thumbs up would be super awesome of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. And remember everyone, a stitch in time saves nine, but you could also just pay a tailor to fix your clothes. See you next time.